Hey, you guys. God bless you guys this morning. I just wanted to talk to you guys. I've been asking the Lord because I've been doing this. I just feel like this is a this is really blessing me to bless you. God, what uh, the Holy Ghost is t be, uh, is talking to me about prophetically uh, uh, concerning the body of Christ. So um, he's been really talking to me about a lot of different things, which I it would take forever. But I just want to give you little bits and prophesy over you uh, this morning. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about Abraham. Uh, and stubborn faith, you know, just not giving up on the promises of God. And this is feeding me uh, that God a lot of times gives us crazy, crazy promises. You know, I'm going to use you in this way and I'm going to use you in that way. Then you'll get prophetic words from people and you're like, I don't see how. And, and the way you are right now, you think there's no way possibly that this could be for me. But the reason it look it seems so, and you're like, what are you doing, God? What are you saying? Why, why would you say that? God is actually prophesying. I learned this from a prophet that I sat under, uh, sat under his ministry and his teaching, a uh, very accurate prophet in Chicago. He, he, God prophesies from your future. So God, actually, that's why he could write the book of Revelation uh, 2,000 years ago, even though it was far away. And that's how the prophetic works a lot of times. And so God speaks, and a lot of times when you would see the prophets in the Old Testament, he would give them a lot of times, be, he would be talking to them about the now, the past, the now, and the future. And that's how the prophetic flows. So some, a lot of times when I prophesy, I'll ask the Lord to give me stuff about the person's past, stuff about the person's present, and the stuff about the person's future. And so I want to interpret what the, all the horrible things that happened in their past. I want to interpret the, the now, and I want to give them uh, hope for the future. And that's what the prophets a lot of times in the Old Testament. So God, God is looking four years down the line, three years down the line, ten years down the line, and He look and He's looking at your, He looks at you, the finished work, what He's bringing you into, and that's what He's looking at that person. So to Him, it's already happening, but to us, it seems like so far off, and He, and you know, so that's one thing uh, you have. That's why you have to have stubborn faith. And I want to uh, talk to you about Abraham. Abraham was in a very uh, was a revivalist. Uh, was a man that God would use to literally change the course of history. One man. So revival can start with you. You can be burdened by God for a city, for a, a nation, and God can use you to reach that city and nation. And a lot of you have received prophetic words about that. And and take heart and don't give up because the enemy wants to stop you. He wants to make you give up. But in this season, I just feel like prophetically, this is for somebody that's watching. Don't give up on the promises of God for the Lord is about to bring you into your, your into the promised land that you've been waiting and praying and interceding for. Um, Abraham was the father of faith. He wasn't because of works, but because of he just obeyed God. God told him to leave his homeland, to leave his country. A lot of times God will tell you to leave, go to move to a new city. And uh, you have to have that crazy faith. If God is calling you to a new city or calling you, sometimes you can't get where you need to go in God unless you move. Uh, sometimes people want it under their pastor that they're under and it won't happen there. Sometimes people want it in the city they want. If you feel like God's calling you to move under a ministry, move under that ministry. You pray about it. You, you fast about it. Talk to people who are spiritual wise around you and move to that city because sometimes the promise of God requires you to take leaps and risk and uh, leaps, leaps of faith. Um, and so I've taken a lot of them and most of them have, a lot of them have failed and, uh, and I've had some successful ones, uh, uh, you know, and so it's just a part of this prophetic walk, just living in, in a constant awareness of what God is doing and saying, and Abraham jumped out on faith and it might've looked like he was pretty cause he didn't know where it was going. And a lot of times he fought, he faced a lot of obstacles along the way. His son, Noah, I mean, his son, uh, his uh, nephew lot was taken captive, uh, you know, just all type of things. His people were fighting amongst themselves about different things. And so he was given a crazy promise that he was going to be the father of the nations. Uh, he didn't have a kid. So that's crazy in the natural to tell me I'm going to be the, my descendants is going to be as numerous as the stars in the sky, but I don't even have one kid and I'm past the age of childbearing. So, I mean, I can't have a kid. My wife is old. She's 90. I'm not, I'm like a hundred. How am I going to have a kid? God. So, but he just believed God. And God used his faith. He was stubborn in his faith. And he wasn't just waiting like some of us wait five months and we want to give up. We want of us wait five, or two or three. God, he, Abraham waited. Jesus waited. You know, um, he was stubborn in faith. Jesus didn't give up. Jesus didn't preach until he was 30. Um, David waited. J David was anointed king at a young age, but he waited. He had to wait. He had to go through the process. And a lot of times prophetically, there's a process to our growth. And uh, so that's what I just want to uh, speak to you guys about and prophesy. 
So God, I just uh, I just see um, that people are coming into their destiny right now. I just see that people have been praying uh, for certain things that they're going to see breakthrough in this next season. That God is going to bring people who many people have even been praying for jobs uh, that they will get the job that they've been praying for and seeking God for. I just prophesy and just declare a deeper level of intimacy that you're coming into this season. That you've been praying for more of God and that He's answering you and uh, that He's bringing you into the promised land of your destiny and to the promised land of your calling. So I just bless you and I thank you guys. Go on our Final Harvest International ministry page which is in the link. And also you can look at more of our, our YouTube videos of what the Holy Spirit tells me, um, Final Harvest International, it says TV. So just look at our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share us on Facebook. I just hope this blesses you guys. Like it, like the Lord's been, Holy Spirit's been teaching me. I want to teach you and bless you. God bless you guys. Love you.